All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it again after being pissed off last night with that customer having us wait for him an extra five minutes. That just set the tone for the week, the end of the week or the beginning of the weekend. Guys, this morning we are heading out to Manhattan and you can imagine the price tag on a Manhattan service call. We are heading to a new client's um, apartment complex who owns two apartments in this uh, six-story building and two of the bedrooms on the fifth floor have no heat. Uh, he doesn't know if it's a steam system or if it's a hydronic system, but he's telling me that he isolated both radiators in the bathroom um, access panel. So I'm guessing it's hydronic. There's a bleeder valve on the radiator that's leaking and he wants it replaced. So right now we're heading over the Kosciuszko Bridge into Manhattan right there. There's One World Trade, if you can see it. And there's the Empire State Building right there. So uh, it is a chilly 43 degrees out here in the borough of Brooklyn. We're in Brooklyn right now. And uh, we are heading over the Manhattan Bridge. So um, stay tuned, I'm gonna get you some content and uh, hope you guys are staying safe out there. But we're back. You guys remember the Indigo Hotel that we do work for? Yeah, there's those fuckers right there. <laughs> I'm gonna check my iPad and see if they owe me anything. They might, I'm not sure. All right, guys, we're heading over the Manhattan Bridge right now, and uh, we're gonna go check out this radiator uh, that's not getting hot. They got no heat, so let's go give them some heat. We can't start working there till 8 a.m. and it's uh, 7:48 here in the state of New York. So let's uh, let's go make another client happy and um, let's go build another strong relationship. Here we go. Yeah, I swear, guys, I don't think the city is for me anymore. I don't think so. I haven't seen the sun in three days, and all I hear is people cursing, bitching, complaining, honking their horns. I swear, you have to have your head on a fucking swivel out here. I swear. And if that's not the case, don't worry. We got the 9mm, the Hellcat, the new Pro with the red dot sight on there. So, guys, go and get your concealed carry permit to carry in the tri-state area. Uh, there are some places or venues that you can't carry um, as far as like a movie theater a uh, restaurant or a venue that sells alcohol, the train or the subway. So where the fuck can I carry this thing? Honestly, I'm carrying it and um, that's my constitutional right. And um, it's all legitimate. So guys, go get your concealed carry permit. You know, it's funny down in Florida, it's open carry now. They just passed the law in Florida. It's open carry. It's like the wild, wild west down there. People are openly carrying their firearm. And uh, I find it to be uh, somewhat nice and somewhat safe, if that makes sense. Guys, let's go give this customer some heat, okay? We're making this illegal turn here. Don't do what I do, please. We're making the left turn in the not turning lane, so... Uh, we should be okay. There's nobody behind us. Let's go give this customer some heat. All right, guys. Let's go see what we're up against. We're heading to the fifth floor here. Let's see. Hello, good morning. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Start on first. I either works. Okay. You want to start out here? Yeah, let me take a look and see what kind of valve okay. it is there. Okay, Thanks. perfect. Okay. Yeah, neither seems to be producing heat. So. Okay, cool. And um, what's Chris said that he shut some valves off in the access panel? I have no idea. You have no idea? Okay, <laughs> cool. If I, if I need them, I'll call him. Okay, Thanks. Cool. All right, guys, let's see what's going on here. Oh, this bleeder's leaking. I don't know. All right, no valves here, that's for sure. And we really don't want to flood this place out. <laughs> All right, let me call him, let's see. Okay, let's see what's going on here. He says that something's leaking. We got a zone valve there. Let's see if we open this. Oh, 
see again. I'm gonna open up this old valve here. Leaking. I can't see nothing. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> There's got to be another valve here. Let's see. How you guys like it here? It's great. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, Where awesome. are you guys from? Uh, I'm from Brazil. She's from Pennsylvania. We've been in the city for eight, ah. eight, eight nine years. So ah, cool. Have a year. Nice. Uh, I was born and raised in New York, in Queens. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nice. Uh, how do you know first? Uh, I met him through a friend of mine, actually. Yeah, through a referral. So, uh, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah. That's cool. Where is he from? I don't know. I think he's also a Jersey guy. Oh, okay. Did you guys physically see this thing leaking? No. Or, no? No. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, we, we, we've not... You've not noticed. Or not, you... Not noticed and haven't had to... Put the heat on. To you, put the heat on, but okay. given the time of year, one right, right. to get it ready. Right. Um, mm -hmm. and, and notice when we threw the heat on it. Neither was... None of those working. Yeah, neither was producing heat. Okay, so... Obviously, you know, those zone, those thermostats control a valve here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe that valve was stuck. Sometimes you have to rotate the thermostat. It's not the best type of thermostat, yeah. either round style ones. Yeah. Maybe we can put like a digital one for him. I'll request. But the front is getting hot now. It, the front is getting warm. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. maybe it's just a matter of me trying to turn the thermostat. Maybe the valve got stuck. Okay. Um, but I'm trying to wait to see if I see any water damage here, and I don't, I don't see anything physically leaking. So, yeah. I'm just gonna have to wait and see if something pops up. Let's bleed some. Let's see what we got.
Maybe she's cracked. Maybe she's cracked. Yep. Maybe she's cracked. Oh. All right, so guys, they have those yo-yo hockey pucks, Honeywell um, thermostats here that control those zone valves, and evidently the front is stuck, so. Um, the rear side of the house, we're trying to find out if we can get some circulation. I'm trying to find this boiler room. See what kind of pressure's in this boiler. I really don't want to be doing this. Hello, what's well, behind door number two? We don't know. Oh, man. Okay, boiler room. Is there a light switch here or what? Fucking light switch. You gotta be kidding me. All right, whatever. Oh, man. Hey, boys. All right, oil fired. Oh, man. Hey. Somebody was here messing around. Oh, man. We're not getting any circulation up there. Return is hot, supply is hot. We're not getting any circulation upstairs. I'm gonna bleed that radiator again. Sucks.
guy, so after a quarter of a bucket of bleed in this thing, she's warming up now. Beautiful. I'm gonna go down and get my temperature gun. Let's see if this thing is leaking. So she looks correct. Now let's see. Let me get my temperature gun. Let me get my thermal imaging camera. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Nice. All right, yeah, so JC, we're gonna, you heard the combo. Yeah, yeah this thing has gotta get replaced because she's um, she's cracked on the bottom, but maybe the rust just closed it shut for now, but just keep an eye on it. Okay. Um, and, um, you know, be in contact with uh, Chris or with me, yeah, shoot me yeah, a text yeah, over yeah. the next few days, make sure you don't see any water dripping here, okay. but I'll. Uh... All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we confirmed that that radiator is split. We gave them heat temporarily for now. It's possible that all that rust that accumulated around that section that's put together with that push nipple, sealed that leak shut, but you can tell that that radiator is getting hot, 170 degrees, and it was cold in that room. So um, I told the tenant to keep an eye on it. We'll get a price to replace that sunrad, that 16 section sunrad, and um, we'll get them going. So let's, uh, let's get on out of Manhattan, and uh, let's make sure we didn't get a ticket. Let's see. All right, guys, keep your head on a swivel here. Keep it on a swivel here. It's Manhattan. How'd we do? No, we didn't get one. Perfect. All right, guys, let's pack on up. Let's get out of here. Let's go on to the next one.